it's always really good to see this anime once again with season two of Strike Witches of, of Strike Witches, and it's it's really it's, it's really is fun it's really is fun to watch this anime. I really do I really do have a blast watching this watching the series, and um, you know it's just basically just basically just something you know it just puts a smile on my face. It really does, you know. And I really love I really love the anime. It's very it's a very good anime. I think it's a very good story. I think it really actually is. It's just it's just one of those it's just one of those anime that that really just has has some really good slice of life moments. I'm not saying this is this is the best slice of life anime mixed in with action or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But it does it does feel like it does feel like it has that similar to slice of life just based with this anime and stuff like that. And now uh, for what I for what I didn't know, I think uh, me and Fuji was trying to find out trying to find out or figure out where's her dad is. Where's where where is he at? What is he doing? Stuff like that. Is there is there anything that she can is there anything that she can do or anything like that? Even though I when I first watched watch this episode one, I thought the mother passed away because I could have sworn that she must have did. Maybe I was not paying attention in season one. Maybe I was not. And you know, from what I from what I know, that her mother is still around. That her mother is really is still around. But however, her mother doesn't really doesn't want her going into the military because because you know. Basically, just the way she, basically just the way she is, and stuff like that. You know, you know, recruiting, recruiting people that, you know, you know, uh, recruiting people that I wouldn't say young or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but it's just it's recruiting uh, different people, and you know, um, basically just to come in into the military and stuff like that. No, I, I do not know what's the age or anything like that about to go into the military, which I really do not know, which I really do not know. But back then, but back then, they required they required people to, who are younger back then. To be in the military for us there for us World War One and World War Two and stuff like that. I think the requiring age for us in the United States, I think it's somewhere about eighteen or nineteen years old, probably twenty. I don't know. I really don't. I really do not know really all that much. If you guys don't know, my dad's been in the military uh, for a long, long time. Even though he passed away a couple months ago and stuff like that, uh, he was in the military for around twenty three to twenty four years. Even though he has he has like you know he has a a government check that he gets like every month, but even though my mom has that, you know, it's just been passed on to him and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, it's 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 been quite some time, you know, just watching the military. I mean, you know, I like watching military. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I don't like watching them. Sometimes I do like watching them. And you know, I know there's one, another good anime anime series, which is based is called I think it's called um, High School High School Fleet or something like that. I do believe that's what it's called High School Fleet. And stuff like that because it's basically just this girl they they're they're based on the ships with that and they're post ticket command and stuff like that you know and stuff like that you know it's it's kind of similar to basically what the navy really actually do is stuff like that it's kind of similar similar to something like that but it's just it just seemed it just basically just seemed to me that it's just that you can learn learn a lot of good things you know basically from what's going on and stuff like that and I also like Asia Lane Asia Lane is a very good example because you know, because they they have uh, basically each and every different girl they're Basically, are basically being called, basically being called like Enterprise or Yamato, or whatever. Maybe these, these famous ships that used to be around for a long time, for for a long time. And even though the, it, Asia Link does have a tendency to show fan service, but not really all that much. But even though it's definitely is a very good anime to watch, and you can learn some history, learn some history of of that anime. And I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying you should watch it, but I'm not saying you should watch season two of Strike Questions or season one. But it's definitely very enjoyable to watch. It really actually is. You could just you could just really just just to try and try to understand you know basically what's going on, basically basically what's going on, stuff like that, and learning different commands and stuff like that. Now I never said this. I never said this because I don't think I've ever said this there or there, or maybe I don't remember or something like that. Um, from what I do know, from what I do know, is that I think Saki, Sakimoto and um, uh, what's her name, Sakimoto and. Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Me and Fuji. Me and Fuji. Sakimoto, Sakimoto and uh, me and Fuji. I think they're they are I won't say they're they're a great couple or anything like that. I won't say that, but they're they're basically very good friends. You know, because Sakimoto is, I mean I mean I'm not saying she's stubborn or anything like that, but she's very, very strict and stuff like that, you know, because to make sure to make sure you know she you know, to make sure that she's not make sure that nobody's not stepping over the line and trying to mouth up to Sakimoto and stuff and stuff like that, even though that she is a commanding officer. Because she's a high rank officer, I think that she's a major. That's just basically what I. That's just basically what I definitely just think means that she's. I think I don't think she's the leader of the final first strike witches. I don't think she really actually is, but she does. But she does help out really 
helpful part out basically in the anime and also as well too and anime also as well too i mean i do believe that second mom does get a lot of a lot of characterization in season two because especially with her sword and something like especially with her powers that she has and stuff like that and i've heard some i've heard some people were saying like the, um that if the, the the more older they they grow the more older they grow the less of their powers they they won't have stuff like that i don't i don't know because it's just what um me and fuji me and fuji with her me with her is that is basically she's learning healing magic even though her magic is much more powerful than some of the other strike which is also also well too now i'm not saying me and fuji is op or anything like that i don't like to use that term but even though even though but but basically something that really tells me it just it just really just tells me that she is very very useful on the battlefield even though when 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 the major told her said like we don't need you being on we don't need you being on the base you don't need me doing this we told you to do your own duties, and that's what she was supposed to do. But, but I really don't believe that if she was enlisted into the military, or she just got into the military by an accident, or something like that. I, I'm assuming this probably was by an accident because, you know, because she does she does want to be part of the military. She does want to serve her purpose and stuff like that. You know, just like I said, for you know, back, you know, and, you know, like back back to you know, just like with Mulan, you know, Mulan. Uh, of the movie or whatever you want to call it or the series whatever it maybe is or something that you know you could just tell like Mulan was like telling her dad like there's plenty of men to go to go into go into the military at war because the the Han is is is, is going to go to uh, go to um uh I can't remember go to um kill kill the Han I mean the, the Han Empire and Emperor and that that's basically what they were they were trying to do and they're and and they're doing that. It's, it seems to me, it seems to me that the Han, is, uh, not, uh, the Han must have some kind of some some kind of grudge or something like that. That's what I'm thinking stuff like that. But even though even though it's just basically Milan is is just basically she doesn't want her father going to the war and stuff like that. But even though she has to respect her father because you know back in in China in China those days they have to obey what what the what the men have to say. I, I'm I'm assuming that's 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 what I think. I don't know. That's just based on what it feels to me. So. I don't, I don't know my history really all that much, but even though, even though I'm just, even though I'm just basically, I'm just saying, but it's just, it's just that, just you know, you could just learn some different similarities, you know, about the war, what's what's going on, and stuff like that. You know, I, I think you used to show that really a lot on on History Channel because you can learn really a lot of things right right on there. But yeah, anyway, so if, I figured I just wanted to bring that all up and stuff like that. I hope nobody doesn't get confused, but I definitely do think this episode was definitely was good. It was very very good, but I I I will say this, I wouldn't say strike which is season two is not my favorite i wouldn't say that but even though even though even though i think season three was way much more better than this one which is called the road to berlin which i thought which i thought it was which i thought it was way much more better and that's just that's just personally you know that's just just my opinion so so yeah uh, i'll love to hear what you guys would say i mean just tell me just tell me that comment below well. but uh yeah ever since i know it's ever since i see you guys there take care hope you guys all day uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the and please hit the like button. Give yeah. Please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And don't hit the, don't don't forget to hit the notification bell as well too. And please leave a comment below. It was I love you guys. Take care. Hope you get a well day. Take care. God bless. Remember to tell me I love you guys. Please be safe. Amen. Stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.